ProQuest's education database provides access to literature on primary, secondary, and higher education, as well as special education, homeschooling, adult education, and other related topics. It's also pretty easy to search. So I want to find some information about burnout in elementary school teachers. So I have my keywords here. I'm going to click search. Here on the results page, um, the first few that are listed here look like uh, dissertation or thesis. Uh, we can definitely come back to these later. Uh, really what I'm looking for are articles from a scholarly journal, uh, particularly one that's uh, peer-reviewed. So I can quickly do that by just going to the limiter for peer-reviewed. Activate that. So that is we have a brand new search here. Uh, Let's take a look at the first one here. It's got a lot of keyword highlights. Um, this one also looks pretty good, a study of the relationship between demographic factors, elementary school teacher burnout. Uh, but this one is ranked first. So uh, let's, let's see. So we have a link to the PDF. Um, let's look at the abstract. Uh, the abstract does have a lot of keyword highlights, and if I uh, were to sit down and read it, I have a feeling that it would be one that we would want to look at. Uh, but let's go back to the PDF full text. Uh, for now, just for the sake of time, I'm going to just download the PDF so I can come back to the article later. Uh, a couple things I, I do want to point out while we're here is uh, the suggested source window. This is a good way to connect you to similar articles, uh, especially if this is a good one. And then also, if you scroll down here, there's an option to search using the, the indexing terms. The indexing terms for ProQuest, it's basically the list of subject terms that are used to classify and organize the information. From here, you can leave your keyword search and activate by just uh, selecting a few of these subjects, and then it'll perform a brand new search. Let's go back to the results page real quick uh, because we also want to do a few more things while we're here. Let's enter a kind of a five-year uh, date range for our search. So 2019-2024, it's update. So that's also going to limit us a little bit more for peer-reviewed. And because we've done that, and if we really want to zero our search and more our keyword search, we can still use subject headings. I know I just showed you in an item record, you can create a new search with the subject headings. But what's great about the results page after doing a regular keyword search is you can actually use some of those same subjects, the indexing terms, to really zero your search into the information that you're looking for. So I'm just going to click things that apply. So teachers, for sure. There's quite a few stuff that would probably apply, but I really want to focus the search on our initial uh, concepts that we were looking for. So I selected teachers, now burnout, now elementary school teachers, job satisfaction might be another one, uh, and mental health. And so let's click apply. And of course, we get a brand new search. And that looks like that's from a national survey. This looks like a good one, investigating the role of academic optimism in classroom management, job burnout of elementary school teachers. And so this is how you use ProQuest to find education research articles.